The headline pretty much said it all. Biden apologizes to Muslim American leaders for questioning Hamas death toll. Ay. In this current moment, with so many dangerous things happening all around the world, could we as a country be any more ethically untethered and morally feckless than what we are? No. Nope. Okay, the actual response that President Biden should give to any Muslim American who is upset that he is questioning the death toll that is spouted and thrown around by Hamas mouthpieces is to indignantly ask them why they aren't questioning it. Tell me, what is it about baby butchering terrorists who love to brag about how much they love death that screams to you, yes sir, these are some trustworthy lads. It's a regular old Honest Abe convention over there. But the reason Biden won't say that, the reason we don't don't as a culture is because we have collectively decided that diversity is our strength. And that trumps everything. It trumps common sense, it trumps truth, it trumps reality, and it trumps moral discernment. And that's a big problem. Remember, it was just a few weeks ago that Jewish college students were holed up in a university library while Palestinian Hamas Islamic fundamentalist allies beat on the door attempting to get to the Jews that they hated. The only workable solution that school officials came up with there on the fly made Anne Frank and the entire company of Holocaust victims turn over in their graves. Uh, why don't you hide in the attic? unbelievable. And in response to that horror unfolding right here in the United States, what did our administration in Washington do? And so today, I am proud to announce the Biden-Harris administration will develop our nation's first national strategy to counter Islamophobia. Then, just days ago, a Jewish high school teacher who had quite reasonably attended a vigil and a rally for her fellow Jews that had been recently slaughtered in cold blood by Islamic fundamentalists, she was forced to hide in her locked office for hours as Palestinian, Hamas, and Islamic fundamentalist apologists stormed the halls demanding that she be fired for supporting Jews. So of course, what else would you expect the President of the United States to do besides issue a public apology for questioning the honesty and the integrity of Hamas and Islamic fundamentalist terrorists? Of course, Islamophobia should be condemned if it was happening. But it is not. Saying that you oppose the belligerent assault, rape, mutilation of Israelis in their homes, that is not Islamophobic. It's being a decent human. Muslim teachers are not hiding in their offices because screwball Jewish students are demanding their head on a platter. Muslim students are not being told to hide in the attic while Jewish mobs attempt to attack them. So here is what I would say to the Biden administration. Either quit equating the anti-Semitism that is exploding everywhere around us with phantom Islamophobia that doesn't exist, or quit pretending that you have the moral clarity to lead this country.